Hey guys, it's me, Can Cold Me Artist, and in today's video, I am going to explain how I get such smooth skin um, with my paintings, especially in gouache, because um, I'm not sure if this works with other mediums. I know in oil paints it does because I kind of use um, gouache and oil paints kind of similar. Literally, similar, <laughs> similarly. You know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this kind of somewhat helps. If you have a specific topic that you want me to talk about, just leave it in the comments and I'll speak about it in my next video. So as you can tell from the beginning of um, me starting to paint, I do paint in sections and that kind of helps me blend all the colours together. So I really evaluate each section and each of the colours and place the colours next to each other. Because gouache is soluble with water, I use it to its advantage to blend. So when I place two colours together, it will automatically blend once they touch each other. Um, if they're both wet and if they're not wet um, you can just simply use water to kind of buff it out but make sure that your layers of gouache is very thick when you start to buff it out because if you place down a really thin layer of gouache and you try to like buff it out with a damp brush it will irritate the underneath layer and it will become very patchy and you don't want that also, a lot of people ask me what skin tones I use. Um, hopefully soon I will create like um, a little helpful video that helps you on how to mix skin tones, but I make sure to mix the skin tones very close to what I need them. Having the colors exactly like how I see it in the reference photo makes it less um, for you to kind of blend it to create a color. So instead of creating a colour by adding the dark and the light and trying to get in the between shade just create that in between shade because it will help so much with your blending and your final look and what I mean by create that middle shade is pre-mix the two colours before on a palette test it out and then use it and I really recommend you always test out your colours on a piece of paper, especially for gouache because it does oxidise a lot and um, you don't want the colour to be darker than you expect or lighter than you expect, if that makes sense. So there is a little cheat that I used to use at the start of when I started to paint that really helped me look at the skin tones and evaluate what shades and tones and different colours there are in the skin and that is you literally just have to zoom in to the picture to see what color it is zoom in until all you see is a block of color and just a solid color all over your screen and that kind of can help you indicate what like, base color maybe um, shading color cheek color you need i hope that made sense i'll leave like a little clip of me showing it so hopefully that's helpful you'll soon just realize that the colors are repeating and it's the same shades or tones um, that you need to mix up and that really helps your learning um, because you're really evaluating the colors and you're really using the reference at its finest. So I have nothing else to say. I hope these tips and like information helped you um, and you can take from it. And yeah, I'm not going to say anything until the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed the process. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.